How's it going guys? Today I want to bring you up to speed on what has been going on and you probably have noticed I haven't been wearing my airpods lately that's because I just gave up on them and on the app that I've been using it's a not very reliable app I've had my video didn't synchronize with the audio and then it would disconnect the airpods randomly so I don't want to retake videos all over again every time and rethink about what I want to say and all that stuff but I did order a microphone and it's coming on Monday so that should be a little bit better starting Monday so just hang on in there with me I know it sucks but we'll get there anyways today I want to talk to you about why I keep swimming especially now after college <music> Oh, and one other aspect I forgot to mention. You are probably going to see a quality drop because I want to see how it looks if I film with my camera. So I have a DSLR. Watch. But it's really old. I got it in 2007. It was a gift. So I'll be using that today. So far I've been using my phone. This is my phone right here. And I've been using my GoPro for time lapses and for wider shots. But I'm really curious to see how the DSLR does. And if it does well, I'll keep using that. Okay, on to the vlog. Oh my God, not you again. Yeah, me. I just have a couple of questions for you. Tell us, why did you not Quit swimming. Well, let me tell you. So normally, you have a reason for everything that you do, right? You wake up because you want to do something with your day. You go to school because you need a diploma. You are an athlete because you either want to get fit or you want to win. You like winning. You like to get something out of it, right? But with my swimming, it was in, it's an interesting story. <sighs> Are you just gonna talk and bore me out of it again? Well, you're the one with all the questions, right? So I have to. Or unless you want me to be rude and just say, just because. There's no reason. Stop asking questions. I could do that. So why do I keep swimming? I'm very OCD, sometimes, but I really like to plan ahead. And as we speak, even now, I have the next three years all planned out. And I cannot disclose that to you what's gonna happen. I could just say that it's gonna be interesting. It will imply me moving out of Salt Lake City, but I'm, I'm excited about it and I hope it's gonna be a good plan. But with swimming, I was planning on quitting after high school. Yeah, you heard it right. It's really just because I didn't think I was fast enough. Who lied to you and said that you're fast enough now? Hmm? Everybody that's ever lived, bro. No, I'm just kidding. But there are some people out there that believe in me and do think I still have something to give. I'm also a very observative, observative person. I like to read signs, I like to look for signs, I like to plan ahead, and I like to keep on track. So for example, in high school, I got in a fight with one of my coaches and I was practicing on my own at five in the morning. One other coach comes up to me and says, hey, if you want, you can come swim with our team. I don't say that you should join us. I'm saying if you like it, you can come practice with us. So then that was a sign in my head. I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't quit swimming. After that, the whole university ordeal happened. 
when I emailed 150, around 150 schools, that's only D2. I knew I wasn't good enough for D1, but I emailed all the schools in D2. And I was like, okay, out of 150, let's see if any of them give me anything. Around 16 of them replied, and out of those 16, only one, just one, gave me a good offer that I could afford. And my family, of course, because I wasn't on my own money at that point. So I went to that school and that was another sign. In my head, I was like, okay, maybe I should, shouldn't enroll in a school in Romania. I should go to this school and see how it goes. Maybe I can transfer after a year. Sure enough, I did, but anyways, that was another sign. My senior year, after five years of awesomeness and good college experience, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I don't need to prove anybody anything anymore. I've done everything that I have ever dreamed of for myself. I've never wanted to go to the Olympics. I've never wanted to win gold at world championships. All I wanted is to see my name on the TV screen next to the Romanian flag. That's it. I've done that and I was happy with it, right? I was accomplished. And I didn't see a reason to keep swimming. But then somebody comes to me and says, oh, you're already qualified for world championships. Why don't you go train and go to world championships? You could go see China if nothing else. And how, I mean, think about it. How can you say no to a free trip to China, right? It's not free because all the sacrifices and all the time that you need to put into training, but ultimately, if you think about it from a traveler perspective, it's just a free trip to China, right? Anyways, I had some setbacks and drawbacks. I learned from all of them in this training season going into Worlds. And that's when I thought, I was like, okay, maybe I should have kept, I should have quit. Maybe I shouldn't have kept swimming. But then I had two sponsors come up to me and say, hey, we're going to give you equipment. Hey, we're going to pay you this much if you want to represent us. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. Perfect. That's another sign, right? Okay. After that, Worlds ended up with all the drawbacks and all the funny stuff that happened that semester, I didn't do that well, but I was happy. I was there. <clears throat> I got 18th. That basically means 18th in the world, right? Anyways, why do I keep swimming now? You know what? Afterwards, I went to my employer and I said, hey, I am done swimming. This is it. I want to be a coach. Can you help me be a coach? Can you teach me? Can you mentor me? And he says, well, how done are you? Would you, want, would you like to go to Arizona with us? Or would you like to go to St. George with us? Because we have two meets there and they're really fun. You don't have to pay anything, but you would have to train. I don't want you to go and just wing it, right? So in my head, I was like, well, I have been to Arizona, but why, why not take another free trip, right? So again, I start training, I start doing really well, and I come back in shape, and I, I see that it's working. I see that I'm doing better and better. And I keep rambling again, I keep talking so much, and I'm sorry, but this is a story and I have to tell it. So if you want to listen good, if not, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm thinking, oh, well, if I have a club sponsoring me and if I have a, somebody to give me equipment, might as well go forward, right? So I talked to my federation back home and I was like, hey, I heard there's university games, which is world university games. So it's a world championship but just for people in colleges, right? So whoever is in college, they could go to that meet, easy. So you have to be in a certain age range, but I was, I fit into that, so that was good. 
And I was like, oh, maybe I can go to that. So I go to Romania Nationals in May, I qualify because I do well again. And that's another sign, right? Like if you don't do well, at some point you start questioning yourself, like why, you know? But I keep improving. At 25 years old, I keep improving. And this is, it's not big improvements, but it's significant enough for myself to say, oh, this is the fastest I've ever been. And that's good enough for me. If I keep training and I keep seeing progress, it's good enough for me. Even if I'm not a world-class level, if, I, if I'm not gonna final and get a podium or any of that stuff, I'm still happy I have progress and I still can see how important that is, okay? So I go to university games in Naples, in Italy, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like, why well, go forward? It was a good year, a good summer. I got to go to university games. But then my coach comes and says again, oh yeah, so we're planning on going on European short course, right? Because that's what's next. It's in Glasgow, Scotland. In December, it's Europeans. So, and it's short course. Short course is my favorite. I'm very, I train short course and I like short course and I'm better underwater and anything. Okay. I managed to fill up two of my SD cards on my camera. So I'll just finish up here because it's really nothing much left, but it's signs, right? It's all about how I've been seeing signs, how I've been seeing that maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't quit and I should go forward. But I, I do understand that at some point I will have to and I think I'm ready for it. Any time that I feel like it's time, I will be okay with it. I will know that I've done everything that I could and I'm really happy with everything that I've done. Oh my God, finally. No, but if I'm being real, that was a good story. I could tell that you're getting more comfortable and you're not stuttering so much and it's better. I, I, I I admit, I liked it. So yeah, that's why I keep swimming. Pretty easy. But I hope you liked it. And until my next video, keep playing the game. Is it recording? So normally, I'm a Tatiana.